Hello and welcome to my DIY diffusion filter video. Uh, here's how I made it. First, I bought some UV filters. Uh, the Tiffin ones are kind of expensive, so I bought a couple of cheap ones from Amazon. They come in these like really crappy packages. That's how you know they're really cheap. But it's a piece of glass, so it doesn't really matter how good it is because, you know, we're just playing around. So, I get the biggest one so I could use my uh, step up rings. So I just buy the biggest filter and then I'll just get the rings to fit it onto the lenses. And here's the secret. Instead of using hairspray and all that crap, I just use my airbrush. I have a couple airbrushes. This is the cheapest one. This one I got on Amazon for like 20 bucks. And india ink from this one's from blick art materials and it's waterproof but it's not permanent so if you don't like how you did it you can always clean it off with some alcohol warm water whatever and here's a close-up of the filter with a little bit of spray this is the smaller one there's a smaller uv filter so i just used uh, I, I went a little crazy over here you can see how it covers most of the glass, the little black dots. And I could still erase it. I could still clean it all off. And here's the bigger version. And uh, I didn't go as crazy with it. You could see that, well, I don't know if you could see it, but the, the mist, the spray, the India ink, isn't as um, dark. So I'm going to put it over the lens and you can see. See how it's a little bit softer, but not too much. So I could just switch around. I could use the little one that's uh, more diffused or this one that's less diffused. And some of my favorite movies like um, Superman Part 1, 1978, it looks soft and I like that look. And inside Llewellyn Davis, the uh, some shots are really, really super soft. This one you could kind of see. And here's my tiny little toy camera. It's an Olympus with a cheap lens and even cheaper filter. And it's cool for just walking around with. So I get to get to test out that filter. I'm going to show some photos at the end of the video, but no, oh, here's a test. I'm going to just put the glass over my um, full frame camera so you can see how it looks. It's super soft. And if you don't like it, you can erase it and spray again. And it's not, it's a little more permanent than the hairspray method of making the diffusion. But you could see how uh, was it? it blooms the highlights or whatever they say. I mean, this whole thing costs like four bucks. So if you don't like it, clean it, do it again. And it it's it won't just accidentally smear off with uh, with the hairspray method. And here is the uh, the bigger filter. That's the little preview at the beginning of the video, before and after. See how it softens it up slightly? I think that's enough for me. You know, some people might want it a little bit more soft. It's a cloudy day, so you can't get too many, what, like, it would be soft enough. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Here's some photos I took with the Olympus. The diffusion's a little higher than the other one. If you look at the lights, it just makes that nice effect. So, if you like it, you should make one. It's pretty cheap. Most expensive thing's the air compressor. But other than that, it costs like five bucks. You should make one. Thank you, like and subscribe.